going to start off this hour in New York City. Hi, Tony. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. What's up, Dave? What's up, John? How are you guys? Great, man. How can we help? Yeah, so I'm a 22-year-old college senior. I got one year left. Um, I have no debt. My mom paid cash for the school, so I'm, I'm good. Wow. Um, I had a job back in March, um, but I lost it because of COVID. And uh, so I, I just decided to sign up for unemployment because all of my friends were kind of doing it. And I ended up getting about 18000 from unemployment. Uh, I, I'm guessing that's free money. I don't know if it's taxable. I, actually, they took out taxes. Um, and so um, I was wondering, like, what's, like, the best way for me to go so that I can basically, like, be financially free or, like, wealthy, like, how you call it? Because I just found you, like, a day yesterday, actually. Oh, my goodness. Well, well done, yes. sir. So what is your degree in, going to be in? So I'm studying uh, uh, finance. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the, mm-hmm. the the job that you had lined up was for for after you completed your degree? No, it was just a job just for income, for money. Oh, I see. Okay, and you graduate when now? I graduate in two semesters. So this time next year? Yeah, about. Okay, all right. Well, I, I think you hold on to that money to ensure that you graduate and uh, continue the debt-free journey that you're on, which is absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. That's very, very cool. Have you hugged your mom today, Tony? Have you told (laughs) her that you loved her and she set you up to win? I probably should, but I just said that. (laughs) Tony, every day you wake up, you go tell that lady, thank you for setting me up for for a a life that is going to be debt-free. Yeah, because it's just wonderful. Very few people get the gift that you've gotten here. So. It's yeah, just, I know. I'm very lucky. You but are. I, I just wanted to know, like, what's, like, the best way for me? Like, it, it, it's not the best question, but it's very general. But, like, what's the best way for me to, to get wealthy? Like, like I don't want to say rich, but, like, wealthy is, like, the best way. Yeah. Like, say. Well, either one's okay. <laughs> Neither one are immoral. It's not immoral to be rich. It's not immoral. You're not a bad person automatically if you're wealthy. And so one thing you do want to do is break that out of your head. Uh, and, and so, because if you're other centered, you can do a lot of wonderful things with money like your mom did. Okay. Mm -hmm. She used money to do this wonderful thing for you and you'll be able to do that, uh, yourself many times over. So yeah, I, 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 it's a big question. It's probably too big for a radio answer. Uh, I'll tell you the biggest thing, a couple things. Number one is to be doing what you're doing now, gather knowledge, be very intentional with your money. Most people just kind of wander along and then wonder what happened. And if you'll just be very intentional, then that will lead you to doing a budget. That will lead you to living on less than you make. That will lead you to generosity. That will lead you to uh, avoiding debt. Uh, That will lead you to investing. And those are the keys to building wealth. But no one does that accidentally. No one wins the Super Bowl on accident. It's an intentional act. And so just by asking the question, you've started that process of being intentional. So Dave, there's a lot of media sensations that that pop up with, you know, uh, a couple of college friends come up with an idea and they they have an IPO and they turn into overnight this is and that's is it been your experience, though, that the the vast majority of people who build, and I love that he already knows the distinction here, the build wealth, it takes a long time, doesn't it? Yeah, get rich quick just does not work, right. statistically. Uh, it's, so, it's so rare. And the interesting thing is those that do it very seldom keep it. Mm. And, and so because they didn't build the infrastructure in their character to carry it. Mm. And it, it Ooh, I it, like that. It, it, it fritters away. You build the muscles by increment. Mm by struggle after struggle after struggle because a muscle is built by tearing. Mm -hmm. A muscle is built by destruction, Mm. by by pain. It is not built by comfort. Mm. And so that that gradual over a 10, 12, 15-year period of uh, of staying out of debt, living on less than you make, being intentional, uh, doing some things that your friends don't do, Mm -hmm. uh, not doing a bunch of things your friends do do, Mm -hmm. you know, and that kind of a thing. Uh, you have a life, but you're just very smart and wise about it over a period of time. That is how wealth is built. Uh, I talked to a young man this morning, 35 years old, came up to me and whispered. And he said, I'm an everyday millionaire. Wow. And uh, works on our team. Really? Yeah. Wow. Walked up to me after staff meeting and said, I'm an everyday millionaire. 30, I said, how old are you? He said, 35. And mm-hmm. he said, I started working your plan 12 years ago. 
just out of college. He said, I've all, we've always lived exactly what we teach here, to the dime, to the penny, you know, intentional. And um, he makes good money, but he doesn't, you know, he, he, he didn't get paid a million dollars a year, I'll tell you that. He not millionaire money, right? You no, know, yeah. he doesn't make millionaire money, but he is. Right. Because he just, just that steady, the tortoise wins the race, not the hare. Hmm. Every time. Yeah. And that's the, you know, all the data we have on millionaires tells us that's how they do it. And that same idea works for marriages, for mental health, for physical health, for weight loss. Yeah. You said that right when I came on. I don't even know if you remember saying that to me, but you said, John, I've read that book, The Tortoise and the Hare, a whole bunch.